for many years, I think people have talked about art that's site-specific, but I've been trying to think a lot about art that is uh, public-specific. What is the specific that comes to this place and comes together and is already formed around? I think for me, the ideal piece is not a piece where everyone takes something and takes it away, but I always try to imagine, could I ever get to the point where I make a piece where everyone brings something? It's the most traditional sculpture, right? It's a pedestal with a bust, but the way in which we interact with it is very contemporary. It's the comment. It's like, like, you know, comment, anonymous. And for these busts, I thought I'd cut off the face. So also make a, a place to put the pushpin, but also you can't remember who it is. And then to decide who to choose, at first I was like, who? And I wanted to do like, should be my favorite artist, you know? Uh, and then I just decided to follow the culture. So I went to a place where they sell busts and I saw which are the busts people want already. And it's a funny list. It's um, Obama, Freud, Chopin, Beethoven, uh, Michael Jackson, Socrates. It's only like 20, there's like the 20 top. So I said, all right, I, the decision has been made for me. So I was like, Freud looks good. <laughs> I'm always looking for small things, so, and I'm always looking like, what's in my pocket? Like, how can you make it work? So there's the ticket, and I thought, oh, this is interesting for my work, because when you enter a public situation, you always have to give a ticket, and the ticket represents you. And I started looking at shapes of the public. So it starts with the Greek theater, right? So like people make the semicircle, but then you look at a theater today, and it's still exactly like the Greek theater. And all the places I've chosen try to speak about the duality of what we do when we come together. This stadium in particular is from Afghanistan, and it's a stadium that has been used for executions, but also for football games. If you keep it the size of a ticket like I do, a stadium becomes a huge drawing. The drawing is made with 25,000 tickets, and there's 25,000 people. I guess I'm interested in the public as a voluntary and deliberate reunion of people. You're going to go into a group situation and this is your name. I want to use these name tags to make an image of a person. But again, it's like it doesn't ever really reveal an identity either. When you get a catalog of t-shirts or pants and you know and they cut the person or you see socks and you just see foot, 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 each one with a different sock and um, you're supposed to choose the sock you like to make you unique, but at the same time, it's like a factory, right? <laughs> the flag that says open is very perverse because I was doing a project where I was climbing mountains, and when I got to the top of the mountain, I wanted to fly a flag and take a picture of me kind of conquering the summit. But I kept asking myself, what is my flag? Which country? What is... And, and then I came with this open flag that it could be very Buddhist, open, but it's also open for business. And I looked at the business flags, they have like red and black and white. So I like here in this show that it's right on the door. So I was joking with Daniel that on the other side it should say closed. So when the gallery closed, you should flip the trumpet. 